is up guys welcome back to another vlog today's thursday and i'm starting my thursday by taking a hot yoga class i like to be like 20 minutes early to these classes because i like getting the spot in the corner because i still feel like i don't know what i'm doing but i like going to them but anyways i feel like this vlog is going to be really fun i'm really excited for the next couple of days i hope you guys enjoy this vlog and let's go do this hot yoga class This was like the hardest hot yoga class I've done like so far. I genuinely thought I was gonna throw up in there and I was doing so great. I was like, wow, I'm really like getting the hang of this. And then all of a sudden my head started spinning. My stomach was like doing its thing, but thankfully it went away and I didn't embarrass myself. <sighs> it's the next day today's friday my cousin and i are having like a little girls day we're gonna go to din tai fung for lunch i've only been to the restaurant din tai fung like one other time but i'm so excited to have lunch there today and i'm gonna show you guys everything that i get and then after din tai fung we're gonna go to the getty museum in la one of my like 2024 goals or just like things i want to do is visiting more museums because i feel like they're so many around me and i don't take advantage of them we're gonna go to the getty museum today and look at all the art and yeah i'm gonna get dressed really quick and then we're gonna go Okay guys, it's been a few days since I last talked to you guys. I showed you guys a tiny bit of Thursday and then Friday, which was such a fun day, going to Din Tai Fung in Century City and to the Getty Museum. If you guys live close to the Getty Museum, I highly recommend. It's free admission. All you have to pay for is parking. You can walk around and look at the paintings, the sculptures. Also the view of LA from the Getty Museum is like one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen. But anyways, that was Friday and then my weekend was also really, really good. And then yesterday, Monday was like my catch up day. I had so much cleaning and laundry and that brings us to today, which is Tuesday. Right now, I'm at a coffee shop. It's no surprise. I've been going to new coffee shops trying to find ones that I really, really like. After the coffee shop, we're gonna go to H&M. Then I'm gonna get a car wash. Then I'm gonna go to Target to pick up a pickup order. And I think that's it. There might be one more. Also, I finally got my aura ring. I've wanted this for months now. Since my birthday last September, I was like, should I buy this for myself? And then I decided not to. I was like, let me look at more reviews. Let me think about it some more. And then Christmas came along and I was still thinking about it. I was like, should I get it for myself? And then like two weeks ago, I was like, you know what? I cannot stop thinking about this freaking aura ring. So I'm just gonna get it for myself. It basically tracks your activity, your stress, your sleep, which is the main thing about it. There's an app situation with it. This is my first day wearing it. So I have to wear it a few more days for it to gather like all the info. But what it did do do yesterday is it gave me a score for my sleep which this is why I wanted to get it because it's literally like getting a grade for your sleep like how well you slept it gives you a score the next day and it feels like I'm getting graded on my sleep which I love because I need some accountability 
with my sleep last night i got a score of 69 which means fair like it wasn't the best it wasn't the worst but it wasn't the best anyways enough of the talking enough of the aura rant we are gonna go into this coffee shop Okay guys, I quickly want to talk about Pear Eyewear, who is kindly sponsoring this portion of the vlog. They are pretty much an eyewear brand that is changing how the world wears glasses. They offer high quality, affordable, and customizable prescription or blue light glasses. In this cute little case, I got my base frame. When I was looking for a base frame, I noticed that they have so many different styles. And they also offer a virtual try-on so you can see what it looks like on you before you place your order. I got this style, which is the Kirby. So these right here are blue light glasses or just a simple clear style. Basically the genius of this whole thing is that they have magnetic top frames. So you pretty much just put it on and it becomes a completely different pair of glasses. If you're a fan of sunglasses, they also have those. How? literally how also per eyewear wanted me to share with you guys that right now they are offering their love book collection which is perfect for all reading lovers book lovers romance lovers i went with this cute little girly one that has books and flowers on it and there you go a huge thank you to pair eyewear and don't forget you guys can get 15 percent off your first order by clicking the link that's going to be down below thank you pair eyewear and let's get back to the vlog I think I just found like my new favorite little place. It was so peaceful in there. It was just like such a good vibe. Also, I just started this book and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be amazing. If you guys remember, I picked this book up at a used bookstore like months ago. I think it was like during the summer and it's kind of giving me the same vibe that the Midnight Library had. Not that it's gonna be the same plot at all. I just think it's one of those books that's really like thought provoking. And it talks about life and the uncomfortable parts of life and the unpleasant parts of life. I've gathered all of that and I'm literally on chapter three. I didn't even say what it's called, but it's called The Year of Magical Thinking by Joan Didion. Anyways, now I'm gonna head over to H&M. I decided instead of placing an order online to just go into the store and see if there's anything I like. Every single time I go to a store with the purpose of actually wanting to buy stuff, I never find anything. And when I go and I just wanna browse and I don't wanna buy anything, that's the day I wanna buy like the whole store. That was literally like the most peaceful shopping experience I've ever had. It's like 2 p.m. on a Tuesday and I was like one of the very few people in there. So let me give you guys a little H&M haul. Also, I think tomorrow I'm gonna film a what's in my bag and include it in this vlog. This has been my go-to and I have been filling her up. But anyways, right now we're gonna do an H&M haul. First, I got a little hoodie. I'm not really like a hoodie person. I have a few hoodies at home, but I don't think any of the hoodies I own I would wear in public. Like all of them are either really, really old or stained or something, but they're so comfortable that I can't get rid of them but I saw that they had a bunch of hoodies at H&M and I was like let me get myself a cute hoodie that is acceptable to wear in public it's just this soft gray hoodie and I really like that the letters are textured you can't really see it but they pop out and they're kind of like velvety I feel like when text on stuff like this has texture it makes it look and feel like a lot nicer quality so I loved this little hoodie then I got myself a pair of white linen pants I am gonna have to take them to the tailor I need to cut off like a whole foot from the ends of these but the quality of it is really really great and i just absolutely love linen pants so we got this like nice little proper sweater top the sleeves are really cute it's like the tiniest bit cropped i feel like i could dress this up dress it down whatever it is lastly for clothes i cannot go to h&m it's actually a problem at this point but i cannot go to h&m and leave without a crew neck like 99 percent of the crew necks that i own are from H&M and they are the best quality. They are the softest and comfiest crew necks. So I got this little navy blue crew neck that says Paris. Then I just got three of these dainty necklaces. Each of these were $5.99, which I thought was such a good deal. And yeah, that's what we got.
uses an iced Spanish latte and no matter how hard I try to recreate this coffee at home, it doesn't taste the same. Anyways, I just got some coffee and I'm on my way to my sister-in-law's because we are gonna take my little niece's two month pictures. So we're gonna do like a little Valentine's Day themed photo shoot. So anyways, I'm on my way to do that, but I stopped for a coffee. And to end off this video, I thought it'd be cute to do a little what's in my bag situation. This is like my errands bag. I got this from Target last week. It was $18 at Target if you guys are interested. Okay, first I feel like I have to start out with all of the lip products that I have in here. We have one, two, three, four, five. Actually, that's not too bad. I have six of these things over here and I have two lip liners. My Gisu lip oil, which I love. I have this Hourglass Gloss in shade Rise. This is actually really pretty. Okay, obsessed with this. Then I have my Summer Fridays lip balm. I've had this for months now and I still haven't run out of it. So this is definitely worth your money. Then I have the Dior lip oil and the e.l.f. lip oil. This is basically the dupe of this one. And in my humble opinion, these two are pretty much the exact same thing. And lastly, I have my Fenty Plumper Gloss. This is my favorite plumper gloss. It'll burn a little bit, but this actually makes your lips look bigger and I love it. It was once clear. That is not the case anymore. Okay, next I have my AirPods. I love carrying these in my bag more than my AirPod Maxes. My little AirPods are just more practical for coffee shops or the nail salon. So I have these in my bag. Then I have some gum. Very interesting. This is just some Trident gum. Then of course I have my little card holder. I've had this exact one for years now and it's still going strong. Two pence. And then I have my little hand sanitizer. This is the Touchland Watermelon Hydrating Hand Sanitizer. And then I just have three more little things right here. First is this little hand lotion. This is my favorite lotion, not even just hand lotion, but my favorite lotion ever. This is the L'Occitane hand cream and this is like a cute little tiny one, perfect for my purse. And this is actually a new thing I've been using. This is a cuticle oil. I used to never like apply this and now I just keep it in my purse. I never notice how bad it looks to have like super, super dry looking cuticles until I apply this and look at the before and after and I'm like, oh yeah, I needed some bad. And then lastly, this is literally one of my favorite things ever. This is the Lumify eye drops. When I tell you guys these have literally changed my life and like my appearance, I feel like. I don't know if it's because I'm on my phone literally all day or there's days where I go from my phone to my laptop or if it's because I have small eyes. So if I'm tired, my eyes look extra tired. These eye drops make the white parts of your eye the brightest white you've ever seen. I put one drop of these and in two seconds, my eyes look instantly brighter and I look more awake. And I feel like it just changes my entire appearance. Last thing, I just keep these in the little pocket are my sunglasses. I put my car key and these in the little side pocket. But yeah, that is gonna be it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you guys very, very soon in a new vlog. Bye.